आज मुझे गौर पूर्णिम पर चेतन महाप्रभु के प्राकृत्य पर बोलने के लिए कहा गया है सो आई एम वेरी ऑनर्ड दिस बाय माई डिस्कालिफिकेशन फॉर दिस ऑपरचुनिटी स्पीक ऑन गो चेतन मैं आभार प्रकट करता हूँ कि मुझे आज चेतन महाप्रभु पर बोलने का मौका मिला है so even the fact that i am here in india speaking to indians is an example of lord chaitanya's mercy yahan bharat mein mujhe bolne ka avsar mil raha hai to ye chaitanya mahaprabhu ki kripa ka ek udaharan hai na just mercy but causeless mercy actually ahe to ki kripa nahi ahe to ki kripa hai because ultimately brah is desire none of us would be assembled here today ni asal mein unki agar ichha nahi hoti to hum yahan ikattha nahi hote it is the sankalp of the lord to want to deliver all the fallen conditioned souls asal mein bhagwan ka ye sankalp hai ki wo sabhi patit aatmaon ka uddhar kare and we know those who reach it and attain tamrata that Advaita Acharya, understanding the will of the Lord, prayed for the descent of the Lord. Chaitanya Charitra Amrit me, just like we all know that Advaita Acharya, Bhagwan, was praying for that he would be pragat. Seeing the fallen condition of this age of Kali, Kali Yug me, logon ka logon ki patit avastha dekkar pratna kar rahe the Bhagwan se. Seeing that most people were Despite performing either pious activities or worse, sinful activities, we're missing the point of religious principles. 
उन्होंने देखा कि लोग पुण्य भी कर रहे हैं पाप भी करें लेकिन जो शास्त्रों का सार है वो खो गया कहीं पर सॉरी cried out to the lord to descend because only by his mercy and those who have no idea of krishna consciousness can take up krishna consciousness to unhone logon se logon ke uddhar ke liye ki wo krishna bhavna amrit apnaye bhagwan se prarthna ki ki wo avtir na ho so today is a special day for us gorya vaishnavas to meditate on the causeless mercy of the lord in our lives aaj vishesh din hai gori vishnu ke liye jab hum bhagwan ki kripa par dhyan kar sake and recommit to honor that mercy aur hum abhar prakat karte hain unki kripa par by applying our efforts in devotional service हम आभार कैसे प्रकट कर सकते हैं अपने प्रयास भक्ति में लगाकर एन चेतन महाप्रभु इज नॉट जस्ट एन ऑर्डिनरी इनकारनेशन बट ही इज कंसिडर द मोस्ट मैग्नैनिमस इनकारनेशन चेतन महाप्रभु कोई साधारण अवतार नहीं है वो महावदान्य अवतार है दिस इज स्टेटेड बाय रूपक गोस्वामी व्हेन ही फर्स्ट मीट्स नॉट फर्स्ट बट meets chaitanya mahaprabhu later on in prayag yeh rupa goswami ne hame bataya jab wo chaitanya mahaprabhu ko prayag mein mile the when he finally re- relinquishes his position in the material world as a magistrate not a magistrate but what is it the position yes like minister of minister of the nawab singh unhone bhautik ऐश्वर्य को भोगा जब या भौतिक ऐश्वर्य का स्वादन किया जब वो मंत्री थे तो राजा नवाब हुसैन शाह के यहाँ एंड फेल्थ हिम सेल्फ वेरी मच डिसक्वालिफाइड बिकॉज ही वॉज एसोसिएटिंग विथ सिंफुल पीपल वो अपने आप को अयोग्य मानते थे क्योंकि वो पापी लोगों का संग कर रहे थे सो so, When he approaches Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he chants the verse: "Nam Mahavadanaya Krishna Prema Padayate Krishna Ya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauru Tadeshi Namah." जब वो चेतने महाप्रभु को मिले तब उन्होंने ये श्लोक जो है बोला: "Nam Mahavadanaya Krishna Prema Padayate Krishna Ya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauru Tadeshi Namah." So whenever we meditate or think on Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this should be the mood. in which we think of him jab bhi hum chitne mahaprabhu ka dhyan kare to hamara jo bhav hai wo yahi hona chahiye recognizing our sinful disposition or ki hum ye jaane ki hum log jo hai ayogya hai we approach the lord with so much indebtedness in our heart aur is bhavna se hum log bhagwan स्वामी ने चमत्कार माना की चैतन्य महाप्रभु से उन्हें पाप में जीवन से मुक्त किया और जिस तरह से वो मंत्री थे तमोगुण में वो बहुत ज्यादा घोर लिप्त थे रूप गोस्वामी ऐसा एंड डिस्पाई हैविंग नो प्री क्वालिफिकेशन बाय द मर्सी ऑफ लोड चिता कैन एंटर इन टू दोशनल सर्विस कैन बिगिन दोशनल सर्विस उनकी कोई योग्यता नहीं थी कि वो भक्ति करें लेकिन चेतने महाप्रभु की कृपा से उनको भक्ति प्राप्त हुई नो मेटेरियल क्वालिफिकेशन कोई भौतिक योग्यता नहीं थी भक्ति करने की बिकॉज एक्चुअली द गिफ्ट द लो चैतानिया केम टू गिव नो वन इज नो मैटर हु यू आर इवन इफ यू इन दोजिशन लोड ब्रह्मा देर इज नो क्वालिफिकेशन फॉर यू टू गिव दैट गिफ्ट 
चेतन महाप्रु ने जो गिफ्ट दी है हमें उसके लिए कोई क्वालिफिकेशन नहीं चाहिए हो सकता है कि आप ब्रह्मा भी हों सामने कोई इससे अंतर नहीं पड़ता Because the Lord cannot be attained only by our efforts. क्योंकि भगवान को सिर्फ अपने प्रयासों से प्राप्त नहीं किया जा सकता. So despite efforts being the focus of a devotee's life, he understands that it's unless the mercy of the Lord is there, his efforts is useless. भक्त जो है वो अपने प्रयासों से ज़्यादा जो फोकस करता है वो भगवान की कृपा पे करता है. अपने प्रयास को कंसीडर नहीं करता। बस वी कैन कंसीडर आर क्वालिफिकेशंस इन दिस मिटर वर्ल्ड वेदर वर डॉक्टर और लॉयर और एक्सेट्रा व्हाटेवर हाई पोजीशन वी हैव। इस बहुत एक जगत में आपकी कोई भी स्थिति या पद हो सकता है कि आप डॉक्टर हो वकील हो। और वर अ ग्रेट किंग लाइक महाराज प्रताप रुद्र। राजा भी हो सकते हैं जैसे राजा प्रताप � so this is not in itself a qualification to achieve the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. And understanding that is a prerequisite to get the mercy of the Lord. But despite our position in this material world, that alone, or our ability to apply efforts, that alone is not enough to achieve Lord Chaitanya's mercy. So, in this world, we have to do our own work, and we have to do our own work. Because the living entity is entangled in complete, absolute ignorance. Because the life of the life is in the entire world, is in the entire world. And in this ignorance, we are simply chasing the phantasmagoria of Sense enjoyment. और जीव इस संसार में तमोगुण में और भौतिक सुखों में पूरी तरह से बद्ध है। Or we're just imagining so many different philosophies and theories about life. और बहुत सारी कल्पनाएं कर रहे हैं कि बहुत सारी फिलासफीज की और भौतिक सुखों की and the maximum by our own strength, we come up with so many different theories of how to exploit ourselves and others. The maximum by our own effort, we just come up with so many theories on how to exploit ourselves or others. Or different theories how to avoid Krishna, essentially. Or there are some theories that we can avoid the Bhagavan. So many people avoid him in different spectacular ways. And many people avoid the Bhagavan in different ways. So, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, he saw that everyone, even in the name of religion, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, he saw that in the name of religion, as was stated by Advaita Acharya, being the reason, one of the reasons why he called them to this world. जैसे कि Advaita Acharya भी इसी एक कारण से भगवान को पुकार रहे थे। Is that so many people were missing the boat? They they didn't catch that we need to surrender to Krishna ultimately. कि बहुत सारे लोग जो हैं वो main जो point था धर्म का वो miss कर रहे हैं। That we have to develop a genuine relationship. With Krishna, कि हमें भगवान कृष्ण के साथ एक जनवाइन, यानी प्रमाणिक संबंध स्थापित करना है। So, the devotees on this day are very grateful. They meditate on their previous disposition before contacting Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's cult. The devotees meditate on this day. On their previous disposition before contacting Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's cult. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's cult, the cult, the mission, is that the cult 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 is that the cult
एक्चुअली एक तरह से ये सेक्ट है कल्ट है बिकॉज वे हियर टू प्रॉपर गे द मिशन ऑफ द लॉर्ड वे मिशनरीज क्योंकि हम यहाँ पर भगवान के मिशन के लिए हैं हम मिशनरीज हैं Everyone in this world has an agenda, personal agenda. इस जगत में हर किसी का अपना एक agenda होता है, निजी agenda. And prior to contacting devotees or representatives of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we've had so many agendas. और क्योंकि हम भगवान के contact में हैं, उनके प्रतिनिधि हैं, तो हमारे भी बहुत सारे agenda हैं. But the idea is that we should take up Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's cult as a, now a real agenda. The idea is now that we come to the cult of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we should take up his mission. We have come to Mahaprabhu's mission, so we have to take up his mission. Because Mahaprabhu's desire is to take up his mission. And it's a very clear mission which is given to us by all the Acharyas. और ये बिल्कुल स्पष्ट मिशन है जो हमारे आचार्य ने हमें बताया है एंड ही एम्पावर्ड हिज देयर एसोसिएट्स टू रिवील हिज मिशन और उनके जो पार्षद हैं उन्होंने भी इस मिशन को प्रकट किया है बताया है एंड एक्सप्लेन द साइंस ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस और कृष्ण भावना में या भक्ति के जो विज्ञान है उसको स्पष्ट किया है तो The more we understand, जितना हम जानेंगे, चैतन्य महाप्रभु and the work he's done in our lives, चैतन्य महाप्रभु को और उनके कार्य को जो उन्होंने हमारे जीवन में किया है, and we meditate on our previous disposition, और हम अपनी पिछली परिस्थिति का आंकलन करेंगे, and see that, तो देखेंगे That without His mercy, there was no way of us coming out of this illusion. कि उनकी कृपा के बिना हम इस माया भी जो जगत है वहाँ से बाहर नहीं आ सकते थे. And in the Chaitanya Charitamrita it says, you are a very logical person. Chaitanya Mahap Chaitanya Charitamrita में लिखा है कि चैतन्य महापुरुष बहुत ही तार्किक व्यक्ति थे. Use your logic to try to understand the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. तो आप अपना तर्क लगाकर महाप्रभु की कृपा को जानने का प्रयास करें। Yes, if you apply logic, what he has done makes absolutely no sense. अगर आप अपना तर्क लगाएंगे तो आपको समझ आएगा कि जो कृपा महाप्रभु ने की है उसका कोई अर्थ या कारण नहीं बनता। You try to understand. His mercy through logic, it will not make sense. तो तर्क से भी अगर हम जानना चाहें उनकी कृपा को तो इसका कोई इसकी कोई sense नहीं बनती। Because in this world our experience is different. क्योंकि इस संसार में जो मेरा अनुभव है वो बिल्कुल अलग है। In this world people help us with some agenda in mind. क्योंकि इस संसार में लोगों का अपना एक स्वार्थ होता है। They have some reason to actually to try to help us or give us mercy. तो इस संसार में कोई भी अगर हमारी सहायता करता है, तो उसके पीछे एक कारण होता है, उसका इतना स्वार्थ होता है। But the more you meditate and try to understand logically, what is the reason for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saving or giving this knowledge to all the devotees, all the fallen conditioned souls of this world? तो जब भक्त ये जानने का प्रयास करता है कि महाप्रभु ने कृपा की क्यों हमें इस संसार से निकालने के लिए। In other words, what did they do to deserve it? तो उनकी क्या योग्यता है कि उन्हें महाप्रभु की कृपा मिली? You apply logic, we did nothing to deserve it. अगर हम तर्क लगाएं तो इसके पीछे कोई कोई सार्थकता नजर नहीं आती। If the Lord reveals Himself and we blaspheme the Lord, actually, the Lord reveals Himself in this world. And we blaspheme him. भगवान इस जगत में अपने आप को प्रकट करते हैं और हम उन्हें गाली देते हैं। We live our lives without considering what is the purpose of life. Who created life? Is there a reason for life? We live our life. हम अपना जीवन जीते हैं। Without considering 
Who orchestrated this wonderful arrangement? Is there some purpose, some meaning to my life? There is the scriptures are there, but we don't read them. Shastra hai, lekin hum padhte nahi hai. We don't listen to the great saints, the sadhus. Hum sadhu ki sunte bhi nahi hai. In fact, everyone in Kali Yuga more or less wants to be cheated actually. Asal mein Kali Yuga har koi dukha khana chahta hai. And we deserve to be cheated actually. Aur hum deserve karte hain ki hum mein dukha mile. But the Lord, despite understanding all these things still he gives his mercy and the body should meditate on how sinful actually one was and therefore you see Rupa Goswami despite his position being very great and exalted same thing goes for Sanatana Goswami, his brother. They were saying people consider us learned scholars. But they don't know, they said, but we don't know who am I, I don't know who am I. Nor how to solve the problems of life permanently, permanent solution to our problems. And despite being very great, they were associating with sinful people. They couldn't be released by their own greatness out of this sinfulness. So, they, when they approached them, they felt so much humility because of their previous disposition. And the reason we may not feel the same type of humility or indebtedness to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is because we do not perhaps understand the gravity of our sin. And what we actually deserve. But it, the devotees, they recognize the gravity of sin, actually, of disobeying or living independently from Krishna. Just like in Christianity, they say, the wages of sin is death. When we disobey the Supreme Personality of Godhead, we're actually killers of our souls, Atmaha. The glorious position of the soul is in service to Krishna. In submission to Krishna, the soul becomes glory, glorious. But we cut that relationship by being independent from Him, we become like dust, like insignificant, dead bodies. And the Lord reveals that we've done this by our own volition. Somehow or another, we find ourselves in a position prior to meeting the Buddhist that we're just engaging in our own selfish desires. 
और ये सब हम अपनी स्वार्थी इच्छाओं के कारण हम लोगों ने ऐसा किया फॉलोइंग आर ओन विंसिकल प्लान एंड एजेंडस अपने मन गणत विचार और इच्छाओं से हमने ये सब किया नो क्लियर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वट हैपन्स आफ्टर बर्थ आफ्टर डेथ हमें इस बात की कोई समझ ही नहीं है स्पष्ट कि मृत्यु के बाद हमारे साथ क्या होगा स्पेशली इन अमेरिकन पीपल कमिंग सो मेनी सिंस विशेष रूप से अमेरिका में लोग बहुत ज्यादा पाप कर रहे हैं एंड इंडिया हैज वॉलेंटियरली इंपोर्टेड ऑल दीज सिंस और भारत अपनी मर्जी से वहां से पापों को इंपोर्ट कर रहा है Yes, yes, yes. Bring it here. We need more of this sinful activities. हाँ तो हम कह रहे हैं आ जाओ और पाप आ जाएंगे यहाँ पे आयात किए जा रहे हैं. And America is freely giving. America is freely giving. और अमेरिक अमेरिका भी मुफ्त में दे रहे हैं कि ले जाओ और ले जाओ पाप. They're very merciful. They're freely giving all the sinful act activities. वो बड़े इस मामले में बड़े दयालु हैं. ले जाओ पाप बिकॉज देर सो मच है सोल्यूशन टू लाइफ एंड दे फिगर एवरी थिंग आउट उन्हें लगता है कि हमने सारी प्रॉब्लम का हल ढूंढ लिया है एंड इंडिया हैज बॉट दिस स्टोरी दैट अमेरिका हैज फिगर एवरी थिंग आउट सो लेट्स इम्पोर्ट ऑल देर सिंफुल एक्टिविटीज भारत को लगता है कि अमेरिका ने सारी प्रॉब्लम का हल ढूंढ लिया है इसलिए जो वो कर रहे हैं वही करें But as far as my experience in America, no one's actually satisfied by their sinful ways. लेकिन जहाँ तक मेरा अनुभव है, अमेरिका में कोई भी संतुष्ट नहीं है. And this is already revealed in the scriptures. The shastra vidim sridja vartate kama kaarthe nasse dimavat no di nasu kam na pram ke tim. You can't be happy by following your own whimsical ways. और ये शास्त्रों में वर्णन है कि अगर हम अपनी मन मर्जी से जिएंगे तो कभी संतुष्ट नहीं हो सकते एंड स्क्रिप्ट इज सेल्फ एविडेंट इफ यू डोंट फॉलो देम द एविडेंस वुड बी योर लाइफ द स्क्रिप्ट देर सेल्फ एविडेंट मीन इफ यू डोंट फॉलो देम और हैव फेफ इन देम योर लाइफ वुड बी द एविडेंस दैट देर ट्रू दैट देर शास्त्र अपने आप में सत्य हैं जैसे कहते हैं ना हाथ कंगन को आर सी क्या यू नैव एनी सेटिस्फैक्शन तो आपका जीवन जो है इस बात का प्रमाण है यू नैव एबल टू फुलफिल द अल्टीमेट गोल ऑफ लाइफ क्या आप अगर अपने जीवन का जो अल्टीमेट गोल है उसे पूरा नहीं करते सोसाइटी वो भी फ्लिप अपसाइड डाउन तो पूरी कुव्यवस्था फैल जाएगी समाज पर एज सुन एज वी मूव कृष्ण फ्रॉम द सेंटर सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स कम जैसे हम भगवान कृष्ण को अपने जीवन से हटाएंगे बहुत सारी समस्याएं आ जाएंगी As soon as we put ourselves in the center, so many sinful reactions start to come. जैसे ही हम सारे कार्य अपने लिए करना शुरू करेंगे, बहुत सारी समस्याएं, बहुत सारे पाप जो हैं, जीवन में आ जाएंगे. So as before Krishna conscious, we may be totally clueless to the gravity of our sinful ways. Krishna भावना हमने से पहले हमें इन पापों की गंभीरता के बारे में कुछ भी नहीं पता. Literally, we're paving the way. At least in America, the majority of the population is paving the way to go to hell for millions of lives. America, में विशेष रूप से America में लोग अपने पापों के लिए लाखों 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 लोग पापों के लिए नरक मचा रहे हैं. You're 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 ensuring that you will suffer for millions and millions of lives. You will suffer. वो इस बात को पक्का करेंगे हम लाखों साल नरक में ही रहेंगे बिकॉज द मेजोरिटी पीपल कमिट सो मेनी सिंस दैट दे वुड हैव टू टेक बर्फ फॉर मिलियंस ऑफ लाइफ एंड जस्ट वन डे अलोंग वन डे अलोंग क्योंकि ज्यादातर लोग एक दिन में इतने पाप कर रहे हैं सिर्फ एक दिन में कि उन्हें उस उन पापों के लिए लाखों लाखों जन्म जो है नरक में भोगना पड़ेगा एंड द थिंग इज एज वन कम्स टू कृष्ण कॉन्शियस ही बिगिन टू रियलाइज दैट तो ये सब जो इसका अनुभव कब होता है जब हम कृष्ण भावना में आते हैं कृष्ण तो 
तो ये जो पाप कर रहे हैं सिर्फ हमें ही नहीं समाज को भी और भगवान कृष्ण को भी दुखी कर रहे हैं कृष्ण जो है सब हमारे जो है सूर्य है is reveals this point in the bhagavad gita bhuktaram yagita tapasam sarvaloka maheshwaram suridam sarvabhutanam yatvam am shantim vichchati bhagavad gita mein bhagwan ne ye kaha hai ki main bhuktaram hu sab surit hu although he is in control the supreme controller of all the planets all the universes everything still he is our well wisher actually wo pure sansar ko jagat ko aur ग्रहों को नक्षत्रों को चलाने वाले हैं और वो चाहते हैं कि ये बात हम सब समझ लें कि सब कुछ उनके आनंद के लिए बना हुआ है and submit to that reality then we can be satisfied peaceful aur agar hum log ye jaan le ki sab kuch bhagwan ke anand ke liye hai to hum shant ho jayenge aur sukhi ho jayenge and participate in the mission of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu of helping everyone understand this principle that krishna should be in the center chaitanya mahaprabhu ka mission is siddhant par hai ki hum ये समझे कि हर चीज जो है भगवान कृष्ण के लिए स्पीकिंगली बाहर से कहूँ तो कोई ऐसा कोई असाधारण कार्य नहीं करना है लेकिन ये अपने आप में जानना ही असाधारण है is now changing that whole paradigm jeevatma lakhon janmon se ab bhagwan ko avoid kar rahi hai aur apne liye enjoy kar rahi hai lekin ab us cheez ko badal mahapur ke kripa se hum log us cheez ko badal rahe hain is janam mein to ye apne aap mein ek asadharan siddhant hai so as we are allowed to be in this movement and we start making more and more progress we become more and more indebted we feel more indebted and grateful to the lord for the great work he has done jitna hum advance karenge krishna bhavana mein mein utna hi kritagya aur aabhar prakat karenge ki mahaprabhu ne hamare liye kya kiya hai because again without his mercy the gravity of sin bears on our shoulders kyunki unki kripa ke bina hum log ye nahi jaan sakte ki jo hamare paap hai उनकी क्या उनकी कृपा के बिना हम लोग ये नहीं जान सकते कि ये जो बंधन है या बेड़िया है हमारे पापों की कार्यों की उनसे हम निकले हाउ टू प्रॉपरली अप्लाई एफर्ट्स एंड फॉर वट टू अप्लाई एफर्ट्स फॉर और हम अपने प्रयास कहाँ करें और कैसे करें Because most of us, if not, we'll be trying to become the next CEO or make lots of money or whatever it is. So, अभी तो हम प्रयास कर रहे हैं कि हम बहुत सारा धन कमाएं. And if not, we're trying to do good for our own name, fame. Let me be a good person, help society for my own name and fame. या इस समाज में नाम कमाएं, शोरत कमाएं. It's like in India, actually, I've never seen. such strong desire for name and fame until i came to this country just being honest bharat mein vishesh roop se jab main is bharat mein aaya tab mujhe pata laga yahan log naam aur aur pad bahut prasiddhi bahut paana chahte hain i was wondering when i first the book distribution why everybody has name on their house and what is this point of and their titles and stuff i was like to jab बुक पुस्तक वितरण के लिए जाते हुए हर किसी घर के बाहर उसका नाम लिखा होता है तो वो अपना नाम नाम की विज्ञापन क्यों कर रहे हैं? ये मी पीपल आर डूइंग गुड बट दे वांट द होल वर्ल्ड टू नो आई एम डूइंग दिस गुड लाइक तो वो अच्छा कर रहे हैं तो वो पूरे लोगों को बताना चाह रहे हैं कि अच्छा कर रहे हैं and they frankly say i'm doing it for fame actually and i want some 
adoration for my good work. And what a waste of the human form of life. And after death, without the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, it's simply darkness. We have no idea where we would go. So, as one stays within the devotee association, stays in Krishna conscious and progress, one should apply one's logic and understand the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because then our logic will fall apart as when we try to approach how is it, why has he done this? Actually, And that serves a purpose because that will endear us or attract us more to the Lord because he's so his mercy is so great that it cannot be understood by logic. Because by logic, we deserve hell, right? Even the next breath, we don't deserve it. By logic, if you understand logic, it doesn't. What to speak of chanting the Lord's name? If we calculate what we've done, right? You know, Chitragupta has, has a long account for all our, for our names. If we were to, by logic, say, okay, give me what I deserve, it's not, it's not looking good for us. So, we should always remain indebtedness and grateful for this opportunity that Lord Jaitanya has given us. And sincerely try to the maximum of our intelligence to see how is it possible. And this can only be understood by devotional service. And it's good that we can't understand by logic. Because His mercy is inconceivable, how much sweet the Lord is and how much He cares for His parts and parcels. No one in this world cares about someone and to that extent. In fact, not only do we not interested in the Lord, but even when He comes, we become envious towards Him and blaspheme And in Kali Yuga, as I was mentioning, everyone wants to be cheated actually in this age. But unless the bodies of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu reveal this to us, we'll be cheated by someone else. Most of us were happily being cheated because we ourselves were cheaters. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu reveals our complex disposition that we somehow entangled ourselves in. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ne hamari paristhiti jo hai usko bataya hai ki hum kis pratan se phase ho rahe And everyone has their their disposition, their complex disposition. Aur har koi kisi na kisi tarah se jatil tarike se phasa hua hai. And when we come to Krishna conscious the real mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is seen, we actually can see our own faults. 
जब कृष्ण भावना में इतनी आती है तो देख सकते हैं कि हमारे अंदर क्या दोष है and he gives us some bliss so we can we don't we don't become too much afraid of seeing how messed up we really are aur wo hame anand bhi dete hain jisse ki hum log ghabraye nahi ki hum kitne paapi hain aur kitna chitti hai hamara jeevan but we should remain humble though because it's not that immediately you become pure devotee or mahabhagavat to the lord लेकिन हमें विनम्र बने रहना है ये नहीं कि अपने आप को महाभागवत और शुद्ध भक्त समझने लग जाओ रियालिटी विनम्र रहने का मतलब कि हमें वास्तविकता पता होनी चाहिए महाप्रभु और महाप्रभु की कृपा के बारे में भी ज्ञान होना चाहिए एंड और चमत्कार जो उन्होंने हमारे जीवन में किया है so much so that the living entity who is envious of krishna blaspheming krishna coming up with so many amazing speculations ki ek jeev atma jo unse dvesh karte hain galiyan de de aur kai janmon se unke virudh hai is now genuinely trying to establish a relationship with the lord aur vastav mein unse koi sambandh bhi sthapit nahi karna chah rahi and is repentful for his sinful ways aur wo uske ab wo ah papo remorseful repentful for his sinful ways pashchataap ho raha hai usse apne papo aur se apne papo aur pashchataap ho raha hai and not just remorse but he wants to do something to change that aur jitne maha pe usko badalna chahta hai if we feel that desire in our heart that desire is to change to do proper devotional service that's the mercy of titan mahaprabhu aur hum is jeevan ko badalna cha rahe hain to wo badalne ki jo ichha hai wo mahaprabhu ki kripa se aa rahi hai not just the bliss that he gives as a just free token but the change to turn away from sin and turn towards him that's the real mercy of jitan ma sirf anand ki de rahe wo hame paap na karne ke liye prerna de rahe ye unki kripa hai the loosen the knot right we're tied knot is there in the material world of trying to enjoy a sin is to try to enjoy separately from krishna to wo is sansar ko bhogne ki jo kaant hai usko khol rahe try to come up with our own independent plans and ideas of what life is about to wo is baat se hame nikal rahe hain ki hum apna jeevan jo hai apni marzi se na jiye may we receive the mercy of titan mahaprabhu that not becomes loosened we start turning away from that to ye jo bhote jagat ke bandhno ki jo kaant hai ye khulne lag gayi hai and we in the association of the bodies begin to understand what mess we got ourselves in and how to get out to mahaprabhu ke bhakti ki kripa se hame ye samajh aane laga hai ki hum fir ab isse niklenge kaise so chitane mahaprabhu's associates are going around and chanting hari krishna and telling people to wake up from this illusion chitane mahaprabhu ke bhakt jo hai कीर्तन करते हैं लोगों को बताते हैं कि कैसे इस संसार से निकले वेक अप फ्रॉम दिस टेंडेंसी टू बी सेपरेट फ्रॉम कृष्ण और इस वृत्ति से टेंडेंसी से जागे कि कैसे हम लोग भगवान से दूर हैं और भगवान के से संबंध स्थापित करें फ्रॉम द पेंडिंग ऑन योर ओन स्ट्रेंथ एक्सक्लूसिवली फ्रॉम द लॉर्ड और ये जो बल है वो विशेष रूप से महाप्रभु या भगवान से आ रहा है राव हिज मर्सी और राव हिज इंटरवेंशन इन आवर लाइफ बिना उनकी कृपा के और उनके हमारे जीवन में हस्तक्षेप के राव द होरी इज कमिंग इन टू आवर लाइफ बिना भक्तों के हमारे जीवन में आए राव द द द कोल्ड ऑफ चैतन्य महाप्रभु हैविंग इट्स इफेक्ट चैतन्य महाप्रभु का कल्ट जो है 
all our efforts to understand the truth, to, to change ourselves, to be a good person, it's like a whole bunch of zeros. But when you finally get the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you can add a big one there. Now you have some value. And then we have to continue to strive in devotional service, but always remembering that we're dependent on His mercy. And that His mercy has actually saved us from complete ignorance. And we would be nowhere without Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy. And as we study the scriptures, we should always remember Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Actually, if we read Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, the whole, they're just, it's glorifying Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy, great mercy upon us. So Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, Mahaprabhu Kripa, Hampar Kis Prakar Hai, Uska Gurungan Kata. Because what is necessarily required for one to make progress, we were not doing not even an iota of those things. Aage Parne Ke Liye Bhakti Me, this is like in the Bhagavad Gita, Yesham Pantakatam Papam Janana Punya Kamam Idyadi. The devotees were asking Srila Prabhupada. It says here we're supposed to have done some previous pious activities. And Srila Prabhupada said, I created your pious activities. Srila Prabhupada ne kaha ki maine tumhare punya karm banaye bhakti. Yeah. The point is we have done nothing to deserve the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Point ye hai ki humne kuch bhi nahi kiya. Mahaprabhu ki kripa ke alawa hamare paas kuch bhi nahi hai. And even if, if the devotee takes advantage of that mercy, he doesn't feel that the Lord has to have given it. It's, it's not Something he has to do, it's a choice of the Lord. It's a choice ultimately of the Lord to give his mercy. He could take it all away, but he doesn't. He could leave us in this material world to rot and fight against each other for time immemorial. But he doesn't. He sends his devotees. He comes himself. He reveals the scriptures. And he gives us, he comes in the form of the holy names. So that we have a chance, and, we, and he comes also, he reveals his different forms in the Archa Vigraha. The living entity who can only see matter, only contact with matter. He, he makes a way for us. And that's his mercy, we should always remember. And because it's Kali Yuga, the mercy is, is seen even more. Because in this age, no one is pious. We live in a sinful society. How can you be pious in a country where cows are being killed? Because here we are living in a 
ऐसे समाज में हम लोग पुण्यवान बने कैसे रह सकते ज्यादातर सी ओ जो है शराब पीते हैं मांस खाते हैं और वुमेन हंटर्स और लड़कीबाजी करते हैं द लीडर्स ऑफ मोस्ट कंट्रीज डोंट फॉल टू शॉर्ट फ्रॉम दैट इदर और जो देश के नेता हैं वो भी ऐसे ही हैं इन फैक्ट दे एनकरेज इट यू नो और इन चीजों को बढ़ावा देते हैं दिस दे एनकरेज सिनफुल एक्टिविटीज पापों को बढ़ावा देते हैं वे रियली meditate this only darkness in this age of kali only faults to is me is kali mein sirf dosh hi dosh hai andhkar hi andhkar hai and we should see not just the material ramifications of sin but ultimately hame sirf paapon ke parinam hi nahi dekhne is the fact that we're we're cut off we're we're cut off from krishna hum bhagwan se bhi kate hue and as and as one becomes more and dear to krishna aur jaise koi bhagwan ka priya banta hai and has a desire to actually get to know him and serve him and fully have a real relationship with him aur uske andar jaise ichha aati hai ki wo bhagwan ko jaane unki seva kare unse jude one recognizes this this unfortunate situation or one was to us samajh jata hai ki uski jo sthiti hai wo bahut hi durbhagyapurna hai and becomes increasingly more and dear and enthusiastic to serve the lord aur usme aur jyada utsah aa jata hai ki wo bhagwan ki seva kare so all the devotees of the, of and the associates of chaitanya mahaprabhu were in so much bliss when chaitanya mahaprabhu appeared sir so, all the associates of chaitanya mahaprabhu at dwaita chai haridas tak they were dancing in ecstasy as chaitanya mahaprabhu appeared jab chaitanya mahaprabhu is sansar mein the us samay unke jo parshad the bahut jyada anand mein the because they understand the need of the out of this dark age power is the mercy of chaitanya mahaprabhu kali yuga kyunki is kali yuga mein mahaprabhu ki kripa hi hai where sins is rampant and increasing more and more as the age progresses kyunki jaise jaise kali yuga badh raha hai paap bahut buri tarah se badhte ja rahe hain and therefore because of sin people have they become so much disqualified to understand religion to understand this paapon ke karan log aur jyada unki jo अयोग्यता वो बढ़ती जा रही so है understand... भगवान को समझने में धर्म को समझने में वो और भी ज्यादा अयोग्य होते जा रहे हैं so what is the ultimate goal life and how to achieve it? ये जानने के लिए कि जीवन का लक्ष्य क्या है और उसे प्राप्त कैसे करना है so, अगर चैतन्य महाप्रभु नहीं आते तो हम समझ ही नहीं सकते थे कि भगवान को कैसे प्राप्त करना। so तो आज के दिन हमें इसकी जरूरत लगनी चाहिए कि महाप्रभु की कृपा को किस पर फैलाना कितना आवश्यक है एज वन बिकम्स रिलीफ ऑफ देर ओन सिंफुल लाइफ कि व्यक्ति अपने पापों से मुक्त हो जाता है ओशन और चेतन महाप्रभु और अपने आप को महाप्रभु की कृपा के समुद्र में डुबोता है गुड वर्क मैनिफेस्टिंग हिज मर्सी और कितना महान कर्म महाप्रभु ने किया है कृपा देकर by taking advantage of the holy names the scriptures the devotee association shastra dekar bhagwan ka naam dekar bhakto ka sang dekar and seeing the impact that it has on one life one should feel the mercy of chaitanya mahaprabhu must be spread all over the world apne jeevan mein badlav dekhkar prabhav dekhkar 
उसे लगना चाहिए कि महाप्रभु की कृपा को देना कितना आवश्यक है एंड ऑल ऑफ अस कैन डू आवर स्मॉल पार्ट हम सभी थोड़ा थोड़ा कर सकते हैं and none of us would none of it would be our glory because we didn't we didn't save ourselves isme hamari badhai nahi hai kyunki sirf humne apna we're not we're not we're not actually we're just instruments or trying to be instruments of chaitanya mahaprabhu's we humne nahi kiya mahaprabhu ke hum log haathon ki nimit mat sadhana in giving the same mercy that he has given through the science of the devotional service hum wahi sandesh de rahe bhakti ka jo mahaprabhu ne hame diya getting one by one people to understand very clearly what is the gift of chaitanya mahaprabhu hum ek ek ko de rahe hain ki chaitanya mahaprabhu ne hame kya diya and they becoming convinced that they should apply it in their lives ki wo convinced ho ki aur apne jeevan mein lagaye isko convinced shraddha faith conviction like this they should everyone should get that har kisi ko ye shraddha jo hai milni chahiye the initial interest to serve krishna ki wo bhagwan ki seva kare and then becomes a, a by the mercy of the devotees and us applying efforts in their association so by the mercy of the devotees and us applying efforts energy and devotional service bhakti ki kripa se hum bhakti mein hum prayas kar pa rahe hain then we can get a genuine desire to serve the lord to hamare andar ek vastavik ichha aayegi bhagwan ki seva karne ki and as we see the effect of chaitanya mahaprabhu's mercy in our life then it should be natural that we want everyone else to experience और जब हम चैतन्य महापुर की कृपा का प्रभाव देखेंगे तो हमारे लिए स्वाभाविक होगा कि हम दूसरों को भी ये बांटें चैतन्य महाप्रभु और हमें ये चैतन्य महाप्रभु का जो मूड है उसे अपने जीवन में उतारना चाहिए कि हम सभी के दास हैं हम हमें सभी की सेवा करना है एंड द बेस्ट सर्विस वी कैन डू इज कनेक्ट देम टू कृष्ण सबसे बड़ी सेवा यह है कि हम सभी को कृष्ण से जोड़ें कनेक्ट देम टू द मर्सी ऑफ चैतन्य महाप्रभु चैतन्य महाप्रभु की कृपा से जोड़ें बिकॉज़ वी आर वेयर इन कंप्लीट डार्कनेस क्योंकि उनके बिना हम पूर्ण अंधकार में हैं सो वी कैन मेडिटेट ऑन दिस डे एंड मेक अ वाउ अ डिटरमिन वाउ टू हेल्प द मिशन इन सम वे तो इस दिन हम बहुत दृढ़ता से यह शपथ ले सकते हैं कि कैसे उनकी हम and connect to those who are very convinced aur unse jude jo isme aashwast hain of the urgency to cuz he was going to hell actually aur is deepta ki jo unke andar hai it's not it's not a joke it's not a a casual thing or something to take lightly ye koi mazak nahi hai koi aam baat nahi hai that those who don't achieve the mercy of chaitanya mahaprabhu will simply go to hell जो चैतन्य महाप्रभु की कृपा नहीं प्राप्त करते वो नरक जा रहे हैं एंड देयर फ्यूचर इज वेरी डार्क उनका भविष्य बहुत ही अंधकार में है इट इज एक्चुअली इन फैक्ट दिस इज इट्स बेटर टू नॉट हैव टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ द मर्सी ऑफ चैतन्य महाप्रभु और ये अच्छा नहीं है कि उन्होंने चैतन्य महाप्रभु की कृपा नहीं ली इट इज सेड इट्स बेटर टू नॉट हैव लिव्ड एट ऑल इट बढ़िया था कि जीना ही विफल था बिकॉज़ एज़ वी सीन इन आवर लाइफ prior to that mercy you ke humne apne jeevan mein dekha ki unki kripa ke bina we we did so many bahut was it sin so many sins humne bahut sare paap kiye the so what a waste of our human form of life oh kitna bifal hai hamara jeevan so this day in particular i like to meditate and logically understand it doesn't make sense actually so is din hame vishesh kar ye dhyan karna chahiye ki unki kripa ke bina sab bibhal hai is when you add up the books where what we deserve is not chaitanya mahaprabhu's mercy agar ye likhit mein diya jaye ki hum kya yogya prapt karte hain chaitanya mahaprabhu ki kripa ke bina to kuch nahi hai but still he gives magar phir bhi wo sab kuch dete hain and that's his credit not ours और ये उनकी महानता है हमारी नहीं 
the heroes actually. They are the ones who did this good work. They are the ones who done something in our lives. And they continue to do something in our lives. To the degree that we take advantage of it. And they will continue to do until we reach perfection. It's not that we did something or we're doing something or we'll ever do something to have deserved the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So we should always remain endeared to Him and attracted to Him. Anyone who applies His logic objectively would become attracted to His movement. And honor His mercy by taking advantage of it. And apply it in our lives and get other people to apply it in our lives. And the main way we can do this in Kali Yuga Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. It's said in the scriptures, Srimad Bhagavatam, Kale Dhoshani Dev Rajan, Hastiyaka Mahaguna, Kirtani Eva Krishna Samukta Sangha Param Rajat. This Kali Yuga is an ocean of faults. Srimad Bhagavatam me kaha gaya ki Kali Yuga joe dosh ka samudra hai. Wherever you see, it's just darkness, it's gross sin and sense gratification. Everyone is just preparing their way to hell. Happily, he's happily, like happily eating meat and happily going to preparing their life to hell. I mean, the hog enjoys stool happily also. So. Don't be confused by happiness. Happiness, you can get, it's the hog is happy. So, that's this, if you have the wrong misconception, you can be happy. So, let's take advantage of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement, help others by chanting Hare Krishna and inviting them on this journey together so we can help each other ultimately in completely removing all our sinful disposition and taking full shelter of Krishna who has come in so many different ways. So thank you for this opportunity. Hare Krishna. Is there time? Probably not. I entertain any one question or anything. Okay, thank you very much. Anchagal Patruya Shaki Pasan Divaya Chapatana Pavani Vaishnava Hare Krishna. Tobi